found ACE and it was something that integrated spirituality uh, and teaching and mentorship and service, then I, I really felt like it was, it, was a, it just clicked. Uh, when I was in my fourth year at UVA, I was kind of debating if I wanted to do macro level stuff, like if I wanted to work for a policy think tank or micro level stuff like the classroom. And ultimately, what I think what drew me into the classroom was just that ability, as Amanda was saying, like not everyone loves school or not everyone has a teacher that has cared about them. A lot of people have, fortunately, but not everyone can point to a teacher that really, really cared. Um, and, and the idea of being that potential teacher for someone really lit me up. My favorite image of ACE is like our kitchen table and like coming home every night and just telling stories and like laughing so hard and working on our plans. I think it would have been so difficult and isolating to do it alone as a first year teacher, but to do it in community was just wonderful. I would have never done ACE. I would have never done the Marion Remick Leadership Program. I would have never become a principal if I didn't trust um, people who believed in me and leaned on them. So what set ACE apart from other opportunities in education that I was considering at the time uh, was the faith-based community piece. And I knew that trying to teach was going to be hard. Um, and so the opportunity to start teaching with a cohort of others who were doing similar work was really appealing to me. Think more so about what kind of person you want to be. You can always change roles. You can always do something different in the future. But what kind of person do you want to be? And seek out those types of people. Find those people and find a role where you're going to be surrounded by those people. In no way will we'll regret doing ACE. You'll come out as a better person for it, a, a smarter person, a more well-rounded person, a more considerate, caring person in so many ways it shapes you. Don't focus on what you get. Focus on who you become. So I think there's this temptation, especially in your senior year of college, at least for me, to be like a little competitive, like I want to get this good job, this salary, this position, whatever. Um, so I encourage you to do the hard work that is getting that self-knowledge. What matters to you? What are your priorities? And then think about what's going to get you there. And I promise this two years is going to push you and, and make you grow in a, in a really special way. Just do ace, you know, because it's, it's the best experience. Um, just again, academically, but also just like the friendships and the adventure of, of just displacement. Um, just an incredible opportunity. Place trust in God and dare to dream a little bit. Dare to envision yourself in that space. Dare to envision what you might be like as a teacher. Dare to envision what you might say to a student um, in a tough situation or just at the beginning of the day. If you feel the tiniest yes, give it a go. America needs good teachers and ACE would be happy to form you.